So today I'm going to be lighting pieces of wood on fire in the microwave and then starting it and showing how it can strike a real plasma. So I have here my top secret microwave where I figured out a way to film inside the microwave. So a plasma is the most common state of matter in the entire universe. This is what stars are made out of. So in a plasma, the temperatures get so hot that the electrons fly off of the nucleus of the atom. And those electrons can strike other atoms and cause a cascading effect that keeps a plasma running. So you've probably seen a plasma before when you've seen lightning. The temperatures are high enough in lightning that it creates a plasma. So when you strike a fire, there's a small amount of free electrons. And when you do it in a microwave, since there's an oscillating electromagnetic field, it accelerates those free electrons and swings them back and forth and back and forth at really high speeds. And those electrons strike other atoms and it knocks the electrons off of those atoms and it creates this cascading effect that makes this plasma. So the plasma that I'm going to be creating, I think we should define it as a cold plasma. A cold plasma just means that a small percentage of the gas is actually ionized, not fully ionized. And even in a cold plasma, the electron temperature can be thousands of degrees Celsius, so it's extremely hot and high energy. So this will be your clearest shot you've ever seen at a plasma in a microwave. Okay, so once I light this, you're going to be looking at the top. The fire is going to be burning down here, but I want you looking at the top, and that's where the plasma is going to be, the plasma fireball on top. on the top. Whoa, that's so cool. So what's neat about this is you can see the fire down below burning. Its energy comes from the wood that it's burning, the combustion. But the plasma floating above, you can see that it's not actually burning anything, but it's still lighting up. That energy is coming from the microwaves itself. So that's the separating and recombining of the atoms of the air that's making it light up like that. pretty cool. I hope you liked it. If you have any more suggestions of what you want to see me put in my microwave, let me know. Or if you have any questions you're wondering about, let me know and I'll try to get to them. And remember, I'm going to be at CVX Live on August 5th, so get your tickets now in Salt Lake City. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when my latest video comes out, and I'll see you next time.